Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor. That's due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Noise in this gospel, broad lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever you may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson through the spirit. Kind of, I know a couple of brothers that went into this already because you got this clown by the name of Deacon Destruction Mode. Basically, uh, was part of the old Sakari camp, which he's still coming in the same spirit. But basically, I think he left Sakari or stepped down or however it may have been. Either way, I go, who really gives a fuck? But basically, he mentioned that um, us getting an order to call the cops on Vocal Malone. And, you know, basically Vocal Malone calling us cowards because, you know, we choose not to be harassed. So therefore getting them away or calling the authorities on them is a basically a form of cowardice but in fact we've dealt with these guys oh man it's lucky we've dealt with these men time and time again and there's no point of beating a dead horse because no edification is coming out of dealing with vocab okay let's get that first first thing at first okay no edification is coming out of that but see one thing about these guys mainly this deacon dude because he made a comment and said, well, we ain't bagging down. We ain't going to bag down. Because everything in their thing is about fucking debate or fucking profit. You know? And the Lord ain't with them dudes, man. It's, that, that's not the spirit of how about Jimmy how was shy, man. Because he made a mention like how GMS was able to take on anybody and everybody when they came up to the time. Right? Because the scriptures say there's a time and place for everything. Okay? There's a time and place for everything. And while you guys are doing senseless debates... Not getting any followers and the followers that you do get, they're formulated through the contention and pride because you guys are coming in a contention spirit. It's a time and place for all that shit. And when the scriptures say debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, yeah, somebody come up to the camp and they sincerely come with the doctrine, then we're going to defend them. I mean, we're going to defend the gospel like if a Muslim came up, a Christian came up, a Buddhist came up. We ain't going to just call the cops on them dudes, man, because for one thing, they haven't been harassing us. You know what I'm saying? But he's mad because he's looking to get famous and he wants the money. See, that's how he's got his notoriety of going back and forth off these former debates, which when you go into a fucking debate, nobody comes out edified at the end of the day, man. Okay? Your whole thing is to cut. And when your whole reason is to cut somebody, then you miss the whole point of why you're out there in the first place because their whole thing, oh, we want to cut somebody, make them look foolish. When in fact... You the ones that's looking foolish, man. Okay, Christians been cutting you guys up for a minute now because you guys don't even believe in Paul. You only choose to believe in Paul when it benefits your ministry. But when it comes to him being authoritative in the name of Yahweh Shai, you guys ain't dealing with that. And another thing, too, if Paul was not authoritative, why the hell did he have spiritual power? Or why was he able to heal the, heal the sick? Why was he able to cast out demons? Huh? Another thing that you guys ain't addressing, but regardless, when your whole idea is to cut somebody, you miss the whole reasoning as to why the Lord have you out there in the first place. So we're not dealing with vocab Malone, okay, because it's a form of harassment. No edification comes out of it, and he's not trying to sincerely wake up the word, but he's trying to cause strife and contention. So it's not a cowardice move. It's actually a smart move because he's disrupting the word, man. Because if we pack up and leave, he's just going to follow us, which is harassment. Because we know that no no, no edification, no no particular uh, uh, winning of souls is going to come from that shit. Because vocab, he's not out there for the right reasons, man. You know? So with that being said, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Because see, what I realized with these other groups, their whole notion is to cut people. And it ain't nothing wrong with cutting people with the scriptures. But there's a time and place for that. When the time of all hell breaking loose, but you niggas are worried about a fucking debate. Just stupid, man. All right. So I looked in the Bible and it says, what does the Bible says about debating? And it says the Bible has both encouraging and cautionary messages about debating. And it's right because the scriptures do say contend for the faith. OK, the scriptures do say that contend for the faith. But are we really contending for the faith when it comes to dealing with vocab Malone? Or is it just vain babbling at the end of the day? Because at the end of the day, he's not going to believe what we're saying. And we damn sure ain't going to believe what he's saying. And the thing of it is, 
he actually believes in what we're saying. So I know that sounds contradictory because he actually believes what we're saying. And this is the reason why he keeps fucking with the Israelites. Because he know what we're saying is the truth. But his whole thing is to be a nuisance and aggravate brothers and get them to be carnal. So before you get to that point of being carnal with this guy, isn't it plausible then the scripture say, hey, uh, 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 voice strife and contentions? Because eventually dealing with a guy like that, it will become contentious and it can become physical. So with that being said, when your whole nation or well, your whole notion is to just debate people to get a following, then the Lord ain't dealing with you anyway, man. And the Lord ain't dealing with Hakka, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn what the hell people think and say because all your followers, man, they're not even spiritual, bro. None of them is. And you ain't gonna be out there too much longer, especially since you broke off from your group. You ain't gonna be out there too much longer because the Most High is taking a spirit from you, which you guys really never had it. But the Lord is taking a spirit off you in particular, man. You know, so your best bet, man. Hey, I don't know what to tell you, bro. But we ain't out here to play games with people. We out here to wake up the hopeful elect, prophesy the end of America, and get the fuck out of here. You niggas can stay debating with the black unconscious community and vocab and pay people to get on your platforms to. Get the numbers to show that you some top group. In fact, you, you you just you ain't got it, bro. All right. So it says Titus three and nine it says avoid foolish debates, for they are unprofitable and worthless. Okay. It says foolish debates. Okay. Now, once again, if somebody come up to the camp and we have a discourse going back and forth. Yeah, that is debating. But a foolish debate is when a man continues to come up with the same notion, and we keep going back and forth over the same shit. That's stupidity, man. Why would we continue to waste our time on vocab alone when it ain't gonna get nowhere? You see, brothers are growing frustrating with it. So the best thing we can do is to get his ass out of here, man. And really, the, 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 the call of the cops is really to deter him from us, to keep him the fuck away from us, man. That's it. We don't care whether he goes to jail or not. I mean, honestly speaking, they ain't gotta lock the guy up. They can just tell him to move around. Stop following these guys everywhere they go around. You know, but like I said, your notion is to cut and to get a following and to get popular and that's the reason why you're so high strong on that man you know so anyway it says here avoid foolish debates for they are unprofitable and worthless it's worthless man just like the black unconscious community and this is why we haven't went on their platforms because it's stupid now with polite and sarnetta and shaka almost came down uh 34th and 7 back in 2015 that you know they caught us in the midst of the act and that's the first time we really dealt with them guys as far as on a national uh, platform like that. So therefore, yeah, the apostles did debate them. And it was more like a discussion or more like a showing them that they didn't have the truth. We've already proven the Christians don't have the truth. So what more do we have to prove after that? Oh, well, GMS, you know, they're not really, you know, formal or what like they say. They have good breakdowns. Oh, man, nigga, kick rocks. Kid gives a fuck about what you say. Okay, you ain't gonna make it any goddamn way, especially the way that you going, especially if you keep up the madness that you got going on, bruh. So yeah, say whatever you gotta say. But anyway, it says here, as a servant of the Lord, 2 Timothy, matter of fact, Ephesians 4 and 29, it says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for the building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen. And most people that watch us and watch vocab, he gonna have the same followings. And people that watch us, they already know we got the truth. You know what I'm saying? And it's to the point we've already proven we had the truth. So what now? It's unprofitable. Them clowns in his congregation ain't gonna wake up and follow us because they're indoctrinated. They're under a real spell, okay? And the ones that's following us, they already are involved in the truth and they already are convinced and persuaded in their own minds that we have the truth. Okay, so nobody that believe in us is going to go over there unless they got demons on them. And nobody over there is going to come over here unless the Lord sincerely wakes them up. Which, if you're a Christian, you are in a fucking delusion, man. And Hakka, you should know that. You of anybody, you should know that very well. And a lot of your followers agree with us too because it's, we ain't getting nowhere. And he's disrupting the world. He's causing contention. Because if somebody end up putting hands on his ass because he's doing too much... Or he ends up rubbing somebody the wrong way Whatever it may be Then we're going to be the ones that's wrong We're going to be the ones that's on the news We're going to be the ones that's being broadcasted against you on YouTube All oh, these guys are radical, they're cult Because that's exactly what these guys want, man Okay So our job is to teach 
Nothing more, nothing less. Prophesied. All right. Proverbs 22, and I'm going to start at verses 10. Cast out the scorner and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. Right. And you guys are a bunch of scorners, man. Vocab, you other groups out there. Okay, like the scriptures say, you know, you speak in swelling words. So eventually the Most High is going to visit your words and visit your doings. You know, because your whole goal is to not wake up the elect. And you guys are acting like we're going to be in America another 30 years, man. We just had a national cyber outreach today. And Great Millstone is the only camp that's basically speaking on the things to come. While everybody else is fucking around trying to debate and get their platform up and get their likes up. Like, what the fuck? That's stupidity, man. And the Lord ain't dealing with that spirit. So cast out the scorner and, and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease, man. And a lot of you guys are getting ready to, the Lord's getting ready to dim your light. Okay? Spiritually and physically, soon to be physically. Well, spiritually, you're already dim. But physically, the Most High is getting ready to put a lot of you guys out of commission, man. As we're seeing, a lot of these groups are breaking up, man. You know? Because the Spirit of the Lord is not resting upon men that teach you how to shy out of strife and contention. All right, matter of fact, go here, Proverbs 13, and I'm going to start at verses 10. It says, only by pride come a contention because it's prideful. You know, you prideful how many followers you got, how you cut somebody, how you got the this truth, that truth, how our platform is going. And every time you go on these guys' platform, it's always them talking about themselves. These niggas are not spiritual, and it's so weird. Because the scriptures goes into a bird of flock to his own kind. So when you pay attention to the followers, they come in the same boastful ass spirit. Talking about themselves. And none of them guys is real spiritual. You can just see the nigga them one these dudes, man. Because they're not spiritual. And this is why Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is making a, a distinct separation between the true followers of Yahweh Shai and the fraudulent men. Y'all gonna see once all hell break loose and once this thing set on high. The Most High is going to separate everybody. Everybody's going to go according to their light. And you're going to find that those other groups out there, they're going to be found one time in the eyes of Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to say, well, Lord, Lord, then we cast out devils in your name. He's going to say, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew thee. And a lot of you guys are getting ready to hear that because you're playing games with the word. A debate. Here, America's in, getting ready to go to World War III and you want to fucking debate somebody. Like, get a grow up, bro. It says only by pride come a contention, but the will, but the well advised is wisdom. And being well advised is having wisdom. Okay, understanding this, that method, understanding that notion. Knowing when to say, you know what, we gotta change the strategy. Knowing when to cut somebody off, man. Scriptures say after two or three admonishments or ammunitions, reject them because there's a heretic. Vocab is a heretic, and you go into the word heretic, it goes into a teacher of false doctrine, man. So why the fuck are we gonna still deal with him? Because he's going to come up to the camp. He's going to get on his loudspeaker. He's going to chop up the footage. Because he's irrelevant at the end of the day. And he's really losing followers. Nobody really cares. He's a clown. The only people that follow him is a bunch of dumbass niggas and black women. And a bunch of slow bellies, man. That's the only people that follow that crackpot. Other than that, he uses us to keep himself relevant. So, Hakai, it would be wise for you to ignore that guy, man. Even if you don't call Esau on his ass. So what? Just ignore that dude. Don't give him the time of day. But like I said, you want a following, okay? You want a following, you want a, you want an audience. Get your likes up. Get your likes up. Hit that like button. Get the subscribers up. Cash at me this. And you ain't going to be out there too much longer, man. I'll guarantee you that. But it says only by pride come a contention, but with the well advised is wisdom, okay? So, yeah, man, we ain't worried about that dude. We already cut vocab, but we've already made him look stupid. Every Israelite camp that he went up against made him look stupid, man. Okay? You guys actually retreated from him one time because basically he was... I won't say he was cutting y'all, but according to his footage, he was cutting y'all ass up because y'all stopped believing in Paul. And he used that against you. See, when you don't go out there armed with the full gospel, this is why the scriptures say in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, arm yourself with the whole word of the Most High, with the, spirit of, uh, with the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High, with the helmet of salvation. Okay, and when you are not arming yourself properly to the battle, then weaklings like vocab can come and confound you, man. But he's never confounded us, and he know he hasn't. So why even give him the satisfaction, bro? All right.
Um, hold on. Strife and envy. Philippians 1 and 16. Let me start at verses uh, 15. It says, Some indeed preach how we shy, even of envy and strife. Some also of goodwill. Everybody's not preaching how we shy out of goodwill. A lot of guys are preaching how we shy to make a profit. You know, just the name Israelites alone is enough to harness in attention because everybody, the light is on the Israelites now. The whole world is looking at the movement. And they got agents like that set up to try to debunk this truth, which he's doing a horrible job. Okay, he haven't debunked shit. But it says here, some indeed in preach Yahweh Shai, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. Then the one preach Yahweh Shai of contention, not sincerely. Oh, well, we ain't running from nobody. We gonna stand up to it. Hey, go ahead and waste your time if you want to. I bet you ain't nothing gonna come out of that goddamn debate. Talking about, oh, because we got the order to call the cops on it. The dude is harassing brothers, man. He's a fucking nuisance, man. He's really driving brothers crazy. You know what I'm saying? So the best thing to do is keep this demon away from us because we already dealt with him. It's getting to the point. It's annoying now. It's like, okay, bro, one or two times, maybe three times. All right, we deal with you. But after a while, we just become like, all right, what are we doing? It says, but the one preacher how we shot of contention, not sincerely supposing to add affliction to my bonds. Yeah, and that's all it is, man. Affliction. Just more and more affliction, man. We got enough on our plate. Our job is to prophesy the end of this goddamn place. And that's it. And anybody comes up and they dealing with their doctrine and if the spirit is on us to deal with them and cut them, then we do it. And you know that, man. So don't act like that we just sit up here throwing in a towel because we're afraid. Nah, it's just to the point this dude is a fucking asshole, man. And he's been a demon. All right. Book of Ecclesiastes 3, and I'm going to start at verses 1. It says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Okay, so it has a time and season to everything. We are out of that so-called debating spirit, so to speak, when we got on YouTube, man. Because you got to understand it was a fresh new movement that was on the Internet. So, yeah, we had to one up the doctrine because we had to get it out there so the followers can wake up. And ultimately, it's of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Okay, the spirit has us moving in this direction, man. Same thing with the prophets. The prophets sometimes had to flee from persecutors. Yahweh Shai even had to flee when they wanted to throw him off the fucking mountain. He had to get up out of there, man. So don't come at us and say, oh, y'all, scared. We ain't got, we've dealt with this guy several times, man. You just want to go back and forth to see who sounds better. It's because you can sound eloquent and you know a couple of words and you may know the history of that. Doesn't make you a motherfucking scholar or doesn't make you a man of the Lord. Because see, Israel, see, Jake, that's why the scriptures say they prophets are like the foxes in a desert. This fox is real sly and cunning. They play off the ignorance of Jake through their vain and fair speeches. Because a nigga hear a word or hear a breakdown that sounds like some Yakub on the planet Risk. And a nigga, ooh, damn, he just slaughtered them. Not knowing a nigga ain't saying nothing, man. And that's how they woo Jake. The important part is, you gonna take the mark? Is a debate gonna get your ass on a damn chariot? Because you're not really sincerely teaching you how we shy because you sincerely want to wake people up your whole thing is to try to make somebody look foolish because you have a certain formal or platform or you have a particular uh um how can i say you have a particular uh not platform but you have a particular structure that's set up for open-ended questions and it gives you the advantage because you know how to trap people in that web that debating spirit is wicked as fuck it ain't like sincerely you out there trying to teach israel but yet, you looking to go back and forth to somebody like this is a fucking rap battle. The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. The Lord is dealing with the prophets and teachers, and that's it. And with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you, how about Lord's will, you.